Hey, what's up guys? Nick Frosty here, and welcome to this tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to create a guest book. Now, you may be thinking, Nick, what's a guest book? Well, a guest book is essentially a small form where users can enter in maybe their name, their email, and a message that they want to post on your website. Um, and the key feature of a guest book is that there is no authentication required, meaning Whoever wants to post doesn't have to enter in a username or a password or login of any kind. Um, so it's kind of like a fallback feature for websites. Um, it's kind of nice to have and definitely something that's good for practice with PHP. Something simple, uh, gets you familiar with working with databases, uh, inserting things, inserting information into it, and uh, getting it back. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a table. I already have a database set up here. This is my tutorials database in PHP My Admin on localhost. And I'm going to create a new table. Now I'm going to call this guestbook. And the number of fields. Well, I'm going to create a number of a couple of fields. We're going to have an ID, which is going to be auto incremented, um, and it's going to be unique for each post. Uh, we are going to have maybe the name of the person posting, their email. Um, the message that they want to post, uh, maybe the time and the date. That works. And if you want, you can go ahead and grab their IP address. I'm not going to do that for this. But if you're doing a live guest book, you may want to do that in case someone starts spamming, uh, and then you can you can block them out. Actually, we will put it in an IP. Um, so then we can determine when people are spamming, and then you can just block them. So we have seven fields. So we just want to go ahead and type all of those in. So our ID is going to be a big int, and it is going to be an auto increment and a primary key. So what that's saying is that it'll automatically increase every time there's a piece of information added to the database. We're going to have a varchar of 255 characters for the name and the exact same for the me for the email. And the message, we will do a varchar of 250 as well. The time, we'll do a varchar of 50. The date will also be a varchar of 50. And the IP, just so I don't have to count it out, uh, we'll just do a varchar of 50. Go ahead and hit enter. And we have our guestbook table created. Now. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some dummy data here. Uh, the time is... Actually, I'm not going to put in a time because... Um, yeah, never mind. Uh, 4.53 p.m. The date is... April 14th, I believe. And the IP will be 127.0.0.1. Uh, um, and I will explain why that um, is like that uh, later on, once we get to adding in uh, information to the database. So, we have our table, we have our dummy information put in. So now what we need to do, go ahead and close this, is we need to create our PHP file. Now, our file will essentially get everything, it'll display everything from the database, and it'll also give us our form to post something. So we are first going to create um, in our body tag here, this is just a real simple uh, file. We're going to put in our PHP tags, and we are going to connect to the database, and I cannot type right now. So we're going to connect to the database. Now normally, when connecting to a database, we would put in, uh, maybe require a connect.php file. To save a little time, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it right in here, um, because this entire guestbook is going to be a single file. So we need to first connect, so MySQL connect, or underscore connect. Now the connect function, the MySQL connect function, takes three parameters. The first one is your server address, in this case localhost, um, and then your username, 
which in my case is root, and your password, which is a password for me. And I definitely recommend if you're doing a live server, don't use password as your password. So we need to then select the database. Uh, so MySQL underscore select underscore DB. And the database name is tutorials. Now we also need to disconnect from the database. I'm just going to throw that at the very bottom there. And then inside of here is where all the magic is going to happen. Just give us a nice little spacer there. All right. So everything is going to happen inside of here. So up here, we are going to have our um, form and add stuff area. And down here is display stuff area. So yeah. So now that we've connected to the database, what we need to do is we need to create a MySQL query. Now our query is going to let us get all the information out of the database and then display it. So our query is dollar sign query equals MySQL underscore query. And then our parameter is select asterisk or select all from and then your table name in my case is guestbook. And then where um, or not we want order by ID and then DESC, so descending, which means it will get the most recent post and show that first. Um, then we want to use the numrows function. So numrows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows. And the numrows function, as I have explained in many other tutorials, uh, it essentially will take your query and tell you how many rows have been returned or how many pieces of data have been found. Um, so essentially what that's going to allow us to do is make sure that we actually have posts in the database. Um, then we want to put in an if statement and it's going to have an else and our else is going to echo no posts were found. And yeah. So our if statement will say if num rows is greater than zero. There we go. Whoops. So if num rows is greater than zero, essentially that says if the there are posts in the database, then we want to go ahead and display them. Now to display them, we need to create a while loop. Now this while loop will allow us to use the MySQL num row function. So MySQL underscore num underscore rows. And our parameter in there is the query. So the MySQL num rows function, or sorry, my mistake, that's uh, MySQL fetch underscore a sock. Um, so the MySQL fetch a sock or fetch associative function uh, will allow us to get all the information out of our query. Now, if there's multiple pieces, or if there are multiple queries, say there are three posts, then we'll have three queries. To be able to loop through and get all of those queries, we have to use a while loop, and then um, this will just automatically increment up, and we'll just keep grabbing the next query, and the next one, and the next one, every time it loops through the while loop. So, um, inside of here, we want to get all of our information from the database using an array. Now, our array is our row variable, so it's just simply doing it like this right there. So we're setting an ID variable and we're setting it to our row array and the ID value inside of it. So that's essentially just saying get the ID out of that row variable which is all the information in the database um, for that particular query. Next we want to get the name and then we want to grab the email then the message, then we want to get the time, the date, and the IP. So time, date, IP. Now once we have all of that we can just go ahead and display it. So we are going to create a div 
and this is just essentially creating HTML tags or HTML code inside of our echo statement inside of our PHP code here. Now, our div is essentially, it's a very simple div, it's just going to essentially give us a block. Now that block will make it so um, all of our, for our uh, guestbook posts will stack nicely. So inside of here, we are going to have the name and then the time, or we will say the name at the time on the date and then we will have a horizontal line and then we will have the message so if we go ahead and refresh our guest book here you can see we have it was posted by Nick Frosty at the time the date and hey what's up so um, there is a little bit of problem there there we go refresh that one more time don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.